I just wanted to do a PS1 collection video because I have, you know, my PS1 collection is the biggest collection I really have, so why not? You know? I don't know. Do you? Okay, so we're going to do my, <coughs> sorry, physical collection, being discs and all that, as well as my uh, digital collection. So, here we go. Oh, digital collection on PSN, by the way. Here we go, starting with um, Boshido Blade. Uh, it's alright game. It's, uh, some of the stuff I printed out the artwork for because I didn't have the artwork. And I also pieced together some of the cases because they were cracked and stuff and replaced some with new cases. So, I haven't finished that. But that's that game, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> um, Soul Reaver, Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver. It's a fairly good game. Hope to get it on Dreamcast soon. Probably have to get that online. But yeah, Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver. It's also a PSN download, but I don't not, I do not have that version. One of my favorite um, and rare games that I well, really like, um, but it is unfortunately not a perfectly working copy and uh, kind of expensive game as well because it is fairly rare. Um, and that is uh, Starblade. It works on PS3 as well as PSP, however, like I said, this copy is a little faulty, which sucks. And I really like this game, so eventually I'm going to get a new copy of this. Uh, whenever I get the money, but it's not going to be soon because this game is like 50 friggin' dollars. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, here's another game, uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. This is actually my second copy I've had of this game. The first one didn't have the artwork, but I saw one with the artwork at Play and Trade. Although, the funny thing about this is, and it's going to be a bitch taking this out, um, uh, that's, that's, ooh. <laughs> this um, booklet we have here, it is as hard, it's like, it is like a piece of cardboard. I don't know what was spilled on this or what happened to it, but you can't open it. It's, you know, somebody maybe was really... Um, aroused by Mortal Kombat and, um, never mind. Now, I'm going to put that back now. <laughs> I touched it. Ew. Now, seriously, I don't know what happened to this, this, uh, insert here, but it's, it's like, uh, stiff as a board. Ugh, I'm trying to put it back in, sorry. And I still have the rest of the video to do. Ugh, get in there. Get in. Wow, that sounds, um, okay. Never mind. Okay, so put that there. Now, this one, Driver 2, has a little trouble playing on the PS3. If you wanted to play this on the PS3, you didn't have a PS1 or whatever. This game doesn't emulate perfectly. It, it's To me, it's kind of playable, but there's like a weird issue um, in the when you first start out the game. And then it has suffered some, from some really bad slowdown. But for the most part, when I played it, it was all right. I haven't played through it too much, but uh, you're better off playing this on a PS1, which I do have. <laughs> Battle Arena Toshinden, a uh, game that had when I was a kid, and I really wanted, and I got it recently. So there it is. Need for Speed Road and Track for the PS1. So there's that. Most of these games I've actually had resurfaced, although some of them I need to have resurfaced, and some were just, just were in decent condition, so I'm not going to worry about them. Moto Racer. <clears throat> yeah, I like this game. It's a little motorcycle game. Uh, it's the first in the series. And, um, yeah, again, this, this also plays on the PS3. Most of these games really play on the PS3. There's, there's a couple that have some little glitches, like the uh, Driver 2, although that's a big glitch. But then there's also, um, 
Mortal Kombat trilogy has a problem when you finish the game, it kind of goes to a black screen and then the PS3 crashes so you don't get to see the ending, which sucks. So yeah, but the rest of this stuff I've never had a problem with. And if I run into something I did have a problem with, I'll let you know, but nothing really that I can think of. Cool Borders 4? Yeah, Cool Borders 4. There's that. And now we have this game. Nightmare Creatures. I love this game. Uh, the N64 game looked good, but I, I heard something... That I could have sworn there was something about the N64 version that was a problem. I don't know. It looks to be, like, graphically better and stuff. But I like that. It's a good one. I have it on my PSP as well. Uh, custom firmware PSP. Uh, cool Borders 2. Uh, first one is really bad, but uh, after the first one, the, the games are fairly good. Um, the first one is the one I know from my childhood, though. <laughs> uh, this is um, <clears throat> a game from my one of my favorite series, uh, Wipeout Excel. My favorite version of Wipeout. Um, yeah, Wipeout Excel has got to be my favorite one. I'll set that on my PSP. So I got a few Wipeout games. I think just about every single Wipeout game there is. Almost. I don't know. I might be missing something. There's Time Crisis. Uh, playing this on the PS3, you will not be able to use a light gun. So, you know, it's a little hard playing with a controller. But, you know, if you want to. But, sorry, I'm sick. Got a cold. There's Wipeout 3. Not a bad uh, Wipeout game. It's fairly good. Definitely, I like it better than the first Wipeout. If it wasn't for the unforgiveness of the first Wipeout, when you hit a wall, it just stops you dead. If it wasn't for that, I would really, that would be my favorite Wipeout because I love the tracks and everything, like the, the mood, the tracks, everything is awesome, except just if you accidentally bump into a wall, you stop. So that's not cool. So then we have Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Fun game. Yeah. Next we have another fun game. Sled Storm. This is an awesome game if you like uh, racing in any way. You like every style of racing, whatever. Um, this version works on the PS3 perfectly. But if you try to play this specific NTSC version on your PSP, it will have suffered from some severe slowdown. However, um, if you use the PAL version, the PAL version works perfectly. So, I tested that. Um, so next we have a weird game. I find it to be kind of weird. Um, I haven't gotten too much into it, but uh, Soul Divide. Basically, it's a... Um, the heck is it? Uh, it's like a, a side-scrolling shmup, and it um, it uh, it's like the only difference is you're not like a, a, a airplane or a spaceship or anything. You're actually a person who's fighting other people flying through the air with like swords and stuff and and like melee weapons mostly. I think you get a few projectiles, but it's mostly melee weapons. But it's like a, a, it's weird. I got, I got to post some footage of this eventually. But yeah, there's Soul Divide. I find it to be a little weird. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Next one up is one I got recently, and been meaning to grab. Grand Theft Auto, the first Grand Theft Auto. I remember playing this as a kid with my sister. My sister wouldn't give me the fucking controller. God damn it. Here's the first Wipeout. I also have this as a digital download on PSN. Um, like I said before, this really is unforgivable. Pop, 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 pop. Ah, I'm doing good. There you go. Anyways, this is really unforgivable with um, the crashes and all that. I just replaced the cover and I just cracked it. There you go. What are you going to do? Anyways, that's not a horrible game, but, you know, they did make better. 
I just really wish that was a better game. Um, Die Hard Trilogy. Three games in one, and all of them are awesome. And if I were you, I would get this now. I don't care how late it is, get this game now! <laughs> no, but it is an awesome game, and I would definitely recommend picking this up if you don't know about it or whatever. It's also on the Sega Saturn, so if you don't... If you have a, you're one of the few people that has a, a Saturn and not a PS1, you know, grab it on the Saturn. Alright, so now here's a, here's a game that most people don't like, and I do, and the select few people do like this game. And that is... War Gods. Yeah. The PS1 version, which has very little footage online. In fact, I don't know if I, there's anyone other than me that's posted this game this version of the game online. I know there's N64 footage, which, yeah, it's a better looking version. I don't know, I find the controls to be better, because I have the N64 version as well. And it looks better, but it just seems like the controls are more responsive. This one has longer loading screens and shit like that. So, yeah. So we're getting to the last two games in my physical collection, which come in the form of Ridge Racer, everyone. Ridge Racer boxed uh, copy, which I got at Play and Trade for practically nothing. It's like a, a dollar or something. Even has the foam. Yay! And I had it um, resurfaced. It had some uh, marker on the front of it, but I removed the marker. So now it, it's fairly good. Alright, I got cut off. My SD card ran out of memory, so I'm back again. I got one PlayStation game left. Last I did was Ridge Racer. I was talking about something I don't remember, but whatever. Now, last game, finally. Revolution X! Yeah. Revolution X. I, I, I like this game. Don't make fun of it. How dare you. Yeah, I got the box. All that fun stuff with the uh, manual, and it's got the WrestleMania arcade game on the back, which I also like. I'm not even a, not a, a wrestling fan at all, really. The only thing I know about a wrest the only reason I know anything about wrestling is because my friend's a big fan of wrestling. So I used to watch it with him, but I really didn't care about it. Anyways, that's it, and I will be doing a part two of this video because I don't want to make you sit through like hours and hours of video just so you can look at my digital collection. So that will be later. Okay, so thank you for watching, um, and have a nice day. Mmm. Mmm.